Well, welcome back in. It's time uh, for some medical news. Today we are talking about infertility with Dr. Michael Allemand, um, uh, who is with the Art Fertility Program of Alabama. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. I, I just want to start with uh, some broad questions. What is the most um, common cause of infertility? Sure. Uh, probably the most common cause that we see in the office on a day-to-day -day basis or probably at any clinic would see would be ovulation problems for the woman. Uh, there's a process that should happen each month, each month where the woman's ovaries release an egg uh, that allows her to conceive and get pregnant and that is probably the most commonly abnormal you know, uh, finding that we see with couples that come in. But it can also be on the male side Absolutely. Of Approximately 40% mm -hmm. of couples who come in to see us uh, will have a coexisting problem with the male and, and a sperm uh, problem even if he doesn't know it. It's qu actually quite common that we will discover that problem while we're evaluating the couple. So how does a couple know uh, you know, when is it time to go see a doctor? That they're not just being impatient, but when is when is it time sure. to go check I think, that out? Uh, the, the old fashioned recommendation would be a, one year of trying if you're not pregnant, you should see a, a quote doctor or specialist. And I think there's still some validity to that, but overall, more often than not, nowadays we think more about a six month time period of trying, uh, because a lot of times people may be sitting at home trying to get pregnant despite uh, there being no evidence of ovulation or things are clearly not right and they're sitting at home when they could be getting care either, either with their OB-GYN or, or a GMO or a infertility specialist. So let's walk through some of the treatments. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the most common. Uh, the most common treatments uh, probably start with some of the basic ovulation uh, treatments including things like uh, Clomid uh, tablets which has been around a long time, uh, intrauterine insemination uh, to help with sperm problems. Uh, fertility hormone uh, injections uh, as a next step and then of course in vitro fertilization commonly becomes a, a necessary treatment. But IVF is really sort of the last thing so there are a lot of things you do before you get there. For some couples it is the last thing for others it needs to be thought of much sooner it really depends on what the underlying issues are. A lot of couples will have problems with the fallopian tubes or with significant sperm problems and really those are best treated with in vitro fertilization early rather than as a last resort. Okay. What do you think are some of the uh, most common misconceptions about uh, either the causes or the treatment? I think some of the most common misconceptions probably center around age and fertility. There's most definitely an issue um, as a woman gets older with fertility potentially becoming more of a problem but it probably on a day-to-day -day basis I really see women who are extremely concerned about their fertility because they happen to be over age 30 mm -hmm. and you know very often they are not really going to have that much trouble getting pregnant once we initiate a plan. So the fear of the biological clock. The biological <laughs> clock is real but sometimes I think that there, there's so much out there people are unnecessarily terrified right. when they may not need to be. Okay. Dr. Michael Aleman, thanks for being with us from the uh, Art Fertility Program of Alabama. We'll be Thank back you. with more in just a moment.